What a game going on in Columbus uh, between Penn State and Ohio State. The Ohio State University. Like, subscribe, and share behind Inland Empire California junior quarterback C.J. Stroud, who's happened to do a lot of work today, or not as much work as he usually does, but the running game hasn't been there for Ohio State, but they take an early 3 to nothing lead after the Penn State defense makes a defensive stand. And then early on, Sean Clifford had problems controlling the football on his first two possessions, and this is the second one. He throws an interception to the Ohio State University, brother. And Ohio State goes down the field with Marvin Harrison Jr. getting open all day as he's one of the best wide receivers in the country. Country. As you can see there, he has a great play, but then Williams gets his lone touchdown of the game up to this point, and Ohio State goes out of the shoot behind two interceptions from their defense and two bad plays from Sean Clifford, takes an early 10-0 lead behind C.J. Stroud and Mo Williams and Marvin Harrison Jr. on the outside making big plays for Ohio State, but then Penn State settles in here on a little play action, pump fake down the field, but he throws to the outside. Who is running back in the flat or Parker Washington actually picks up the first down. No, that was his running back. And then on the next play, Parker Washington takes over the football game here as he's having a career day as two Ohio State defenders run into each other. And Washington goes down the field, points out to his uh, blocker downfield to get in the way and he uses his speed into the end zone with 10 catches, 170 yards, and that touchdown there. Sean Clifford, uh, one possession later, makes a great play here, steps up into the pocket on the left side, throws the ball to his tight end down the field and makes an acrobatic catch inside the 30-yard line. A couple of plays later, a great pass by Sean Clifford down the middle to a streaking wide receiver cutting towards the middle of the field, and he just walks it into the end zone, and it puts Penn State up in this football game 14-13. Ohio State here gets shut down on fourth down again, or third down, so they have to kick a field goal to take the lead late in the third quarter. Penn State trying to pull a monumental upset, and on fourth and goal out of this horrible formation that they've run about five times today, Keytron Allen gets hit about three yards behind the line of scrimmage, but somehow breaks the tackle, fights his way up into the end zone to take a Penn State lead midway through the fourth quarter, and it was at this point in time we knew the Sean Clifford slash James Franklin effect would show up and oh indeed did it over the next one and a half minutes and three plays for Ohio State. The James Franklin, Sean Clifford effect shows up again in a big game and as the crowd was cheering on the ensuing possession, uh, Henderson runs it straight up the middle, jukes a little bit to the left, goes down the sideline into the end zone for a 46-yard touchdown run, more yards than they had rushing the whole game on the next possession, next play on offense. The Sean Clifford effect comes in where he gets strips from behind uh, on an edge rusher going to throw the football unaware of who's going on and what's going on around them. And on the ensuing play for Ohio State, they're inside almost the red zone, a little play action roll to the right, throws it back to the left, and just one missed tackle, two missed tackles, three missed tackles. Here's the end zone. There's a James Franklin effect. Ohio State takes the lead and looks to seal the game.